Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to take just a quick second to share with you my top three Maligator Mom must-haves. First on my list is Tactipup.com. Now these are the collars that you see my dogs wearing in all my videos, and I personally prefer the two inch width. You can get them with their name embroidered on them, and I always have them add a handle. These collars are made with a cobra buckle and all metal hardware. They are incredibly durable and they are made right here in the USA. So if you're interested, check out tactipup.com and use my code MALLIGATORMOM to save 10%. And number two, everybody wants to know, what do you feed your dogs? Well, this is it. I feed my dogs Munster Milling. Now this is a customizable kibble, so you can actually go onto their website and select additives that they will mix fresh into your bag. It's absolutely phenomenal. I add things like bacon fat, salmon oil, probiotic, and freeze-dried elk. If you're interested, use my code MALLIGATORMOM and you will save 55% off your first custom bag. And number three, if you are interested in online dog training videos, you definitely need to check out robertcabral.com. I have consumed a lot of online dog training videos and Robert is by far the best. Head over to robertcabral.com, use code MALLIGATORMOM. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom, and today is Saturday morning. Thank you for joining me. Um, we are kind of at a loss this week for what we were gonna film about, and I've just kind of had a busy week, and I also have a busy Friday coming up, which will be tomorrow because today is Thursday. It's a lot of information. Anyway, um, so we're sitting here having lunch, me and Maligator Bot, and I thought it would be fun to maybe just do a little Q&A here while I have my lunch. So if you guys are interested, then stay tuned. So what are you having for lunch? Me and Stormy are having Waldo's chicken. Isn't it called chicken and beer? I'm having Coke. So I'm having chicken and the West Coast, we call these uh, JoJo's. And when I moved here, I went um, up to the counter at a local like gas station and I was like, can I get an order of JoJo's? And the guy was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, some JoJo's, can I get an order of JoJo's? The guy had no clue what I was talking about. So I learned that here in the South, you do not call these JoJo's, you call them potato wedges. Fun fact, they're potatoes shaped like a wedge. Potato wedges. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my Wasso's sweatshirt. Best Fetch Dog sent me this. If you guys aren't following him on TikTok, you've gotta go watch his stuff, it's hilarious. Or white women aren't scared of shit. And it's all about, like he does these funny skits and that kind of thing about um, how white women like will go rescue any dog from any situation because they're just not scared of shit. And so it's a really cute little comedy channel on TikTok. Go watch it. Hello, baby. Do you want a bite? You want some chicken? Good girl. Storm will now be a paid extra for the remainder of the film. How's Crisis doing? <laughs> Crisis is great. Crisis is so much fun. Crisis is huge. I don't know if you guys have seen um, some of the pictures I've been sharing of her recently, but I've been putting her next to the other dogs just to give you a comparison of her size because she is absolutely enormous. So she's already bigger than Fury, which you guys have seen from the pictures I posted. And um, she's also starting to uh, measure up to Riot. Like her feet are bigger than Riot's feet already. So I anticipate that she will be at least the same size as Riot, if not bigger than Riot. So she's gonna be a pretty big, uh, pretty big Malinois. So we're excited, but she's been a lot of fun. I have backed way, way off of her um, like tracking and detection. Uh, training like I had planned to, but I'm gonna pick that back up. We had like a weird, like all through December when we did Vlogmas, that took up all of my time. Vlogmas and the family and Christmas and planning for the holiday. I was too busy to mess with her like, like I should have. And then in January we got COVID um, and then my husband had his big 40th birthday and like we just had a lot going on in January. Excuses, excuses. For now we've just been kind of working on basic obedience type things and um, she's looking real nice. You recently launched a Discord server. 
I did. How's that going? It's great. So today is Thursday. We're filming on Thursday. And as of right now, I think there's like 180 some members in the Discord server. So it's growing really fast, which I'm really happy about. Um, and the Discord server, if you guys don't know what Discord is, I like to describe it as kind of like back in the day of AOL, like AOL chat rooms. I don't know if you got showing my age. Um, Boomer alert. Yeah, AOL chat rooms, which were so much fun. This is kind of comparable to what Discord is. So if you don't know what it is, um, I'm gonna leave a link in the video. <laughs> She's thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link uh, down in the description of this video for you to go join our Discord community. Because here's the thing. And I, I don't, I don't want to like toot my own horn or sound grandiose about myself, but the fact is, is I get a ton of messages from people every day, more than I can possibly keep up with, um, across YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, multiple groups in Facebook, right? Um, it's a lot and I can't answer everybody and I actually quit trying. So if you, you could have, you could have sent me like a really thoughtful message on Instagram, for example, and I probably didn't even see it. It goes, you know, everything goes into a folder called a request, a request folder. Um, and I quit looking at them a long time ago because it was overwhelming me. And a majority of the messages that I was receiving were literally, how do I get my melon want to stop biting? Um, and I just, it, it was making me insane. And so I quit looking at them. Um, so it's really hard to connect with me through social media. And I know that, but it's also got to be that way to protect my own sanity. Um, so I get messages from people who want to book a zoom call with me, right? Through my website. And that was fine for a period of time, but honestly, I feel like that's not offering, um, much value for my time as far as, you know, what it is and, and what I was charging people 50 bucks roughly right for like a 30 minute to an hour consult. Um, it just wasn't a good use of my time. And so <clears throat> I feel like this is a really good opportunity. So I, I've quit booking Zoom calls for now. And I think that a really good opportunity to connect with me is gonna be on Discord. So I'm pretty active on Discord. I look at it multiple times a day. I try to respond to everybody that I can on Discord and I'm trying to kind of let that be the platform where you can get a hold of me where we can actually have a conversation. So like for, you know, for tonight, for example, um, I just posted in the Discord general uh, general channel, like, hey, you guys wanna do a voice, uh, a voice message, like hangout tonight? Um, so we might be out there this evening just having a chat and everything. It's just a great way to get a hold of me. So if you're not uh, part of the Working Dog Discord group, then you are going to want to be. Um, again, I'll put the link down in the description of the video, but um, we're, we're kind of we're, we're planning a big launch event right so we're gonna have this big launch event which is going to be an online dog training conference and i've got a lot of really amazing speakers lined up for it we're going to do it this spring um and so you can kind of like get in early now like i'm not pushing this real hard i haven't really like made a major announcement or anything like that and so all these people that are filtering in right now are all kind of like founding members so to speak right so um so come, come get in on the Discord with us. Good get. <clears throat> what else do you want to know? Who did uh, Courtney at Global Canine run into during her trial for her dog Bamp? Oh, Mason! I scared the shit out of her. She ran into Mason. So hi, Mason. Um, how cool is that, right? Like, what a small world. She sent me that picture. That was super sweet. How awesome that you got to go out there and watch that trial, but that was a lot of fun. Great way to hang out for the weekend and run into my trainer. I adore Courtney. She's one of my very good friends and my personal trainer. And you guys got to meet. So big shout out to Mason. Thanks for the support. Get down, you're driving me nuts. Your hot breath in my face. Do you have any other projects in the works? How should I answer that? I have so many projects in the works. Yeah? I do. I'm a busy girl. So, I'm writing a book. If you wonder why I'm not looking at the cameras, because I'm looking at Maligator Bot. So, I'm talking to him, but answering you. Looking at him, answering you. Looking at him, answering you. So, I'm writing a book. How cool is that? Me and my, uh, my trainer, Courtney Robbins, out of Global Canine Protection Services, are getting together to write 
a book. And um, we don't really have a working title pinned down just yet, but the book is all about working dog puppies. So how to go about raising your working dog puppy through the first 16 weeks, because as we know, it's those first 16 weeks that are super, super important. If you've heard me repeat anything on this channel, it's definitely that. Um, those, those first 16 weeks are vital to a puppy's development and how they uh, you know, turn out later as an adult dog. So we want to um, get this book together and it'll be a great resource for how to get you through those first 16 weeks, week by week by week, what you should be doing with your working dog puppy. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be great. What is your favorite coffee? Ooh. So I was a Starbucks girl because I'm an Oregon girl. However, Dunkin' Donuts lately, they're killing it. They're killing it with the iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know, our Starbucks here locally kind of sucks. It's not the same as it is in Oregon. It's not the same. I don't know what it is. They're doing something different out here. And what do you typically order? I'm not telling. Leave some mystery about me. <laughs> A peek into crazy. Series one, chapter one. Are you calling me crazy or the dogs? Next up. Very get down. Get down. Thank you. How was your Valentine's Day? The best. As always. That's a lie. It's not a lie. It was average. This year was average in comparison to previous years. See, I told you it was a lie. Yeah, it was okay. I feel like I outdid you this year. Yeah. I did. Why is that? Hold on. Need I say more? It's a lot of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. You you got you got the biggest candy I could find, the biggest Hershey kiss I could find, the biggest bow I could find, the biggest balloon I could find, the biggest stuffed animal I could find, and the biggest card I could find. What balloon? I don't remember getting a balloon. It popped on the way to the car. I never saw it. But I got the receipt. You can see the receipt. We have to cut that out. <laughs> They'll be like, she's a dog abuser. Uh, maybe a little bit. What? What those bruises do. <laughs> Look, the truth is I almost didn't film today because of these big bruises on my face. And ladies, if you know, you know. You know what they're from and you know why I get them. And if you don't, then it's best left unsaid. Looking fresh. It's natural. It's, it's literally not. It's natural. <laughs> Stormy doesn't care. Stormy does not care. She's like, Mom, I love you, even with ugly bruises on your face. So this will air the day after Dog comes out in theaters. That's what, right. What did you think? Um, so, look, everybody was super worried about it, right? I got tons of messages and I read some other people's thoughts that they posted on their own. Get down. About the dog movie, because as we know, um, a lot of people are like, this is gonna romanticize the breed and people are gonna go get one of these dogs and we don't want to have this happen again. It's Max all over or John Wick all over again. Um, <clears throat> and I can tell you that that it's not. People, people who are out there saying that are people who haven't seen the movie. Um, I had the same reservations, I did. And I actually did a TikTok post before I saw the movie doing my own version of a PSA. I think I'm a little bit more respectful about it than most people are, but that's whatever. Um, however, I saw it myself. I think it's fantastic. I think it does a very good job of accurately representing the breed. It does not romanticize the breed. It does not show them in any like crazy death defying scenes that make them seem like they're just these amazing, like it's, it's not like that. This is just a very toned down, sweet story. Um, I saw it on Valentine's day with my husband and it was good enough that I'm going to go see it again. My kids want to go see it. I think it's a family friendly movie. There was nothing in it that would prevent me from taking my eight year old daughter, for example. So, um, so yeah, it was good. And I encourage you guys to go see it. I don't think that it's one of those films that we're going to have to worry about. Um, as far as, you know, being an advocate for the breed, I think that this is actually something I would say, go watch this movie if you want to know what it's really like, because there are a lot of scenes in this movie 
that you as a Malinois owner will be able to um, identify with and have a good laugh about. Is there anything they should watch after they watch the movie Dog? Yes, what a great question. Look at you, Mr. Interviewer. So after you watch the movie Dog, um, I encourage you to go watch the HBO documentary, War Dogs. I think that came out in 2020, if, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it follows the story of a couple different soldiers, one of them being an army ranger by the name of Trent McDonald. And he was um, someone who collaborated with Channing and MGM Studios for the, for the film. And there are a lot of similar themes in Trent's life that translated into this story, into this movie. And so you'll get kind of a sneak peek at who the real person is behind behind that movie, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you'll even you'll even recognize some of the words that Trent speaks in the documentary are actually lines in the movie. So um, so if you want like more information on the whole story of the Rangers and these war dogs and that kind of thing, they they do a great job in this documentary. So I'd go watch the documentary after you watch the movie. It's a lot of fun. Oh, and I'll link Trent's um, Instagram down below. So Trent McDonald, do you guys remember the um, National Geographic cover, the War Dogs cover with that dog, Laika, who had the purple heart and the missing arm? So Trent is her owner and handler. Um, so I'll link his stuff down so you guys can go follow him on, um, on Instagram. You're ruining every shot. Enough. She's a helper. Are you just not even gonna tell me that she slobbered my face and left chicken crumbs on my face and you're just gonna record me? Is there, <laughs> is, there is there a place that people could go to make suggestions for next week's video? Yes, yes there is. Um, I think that the best place to do that is going to be over on Discord. So um, again, I'm trying to get everybody to go join this server. And if you have a suggestion for um, a future video for YouTube, something you guys want to know about, I really like getting suggestions from viewers, honestly, because I feel like, um, I mean, I could make a million videos about a million different things, but if it's not stuff that you guys want to know about or hear about, or that's relevant to you at the time, um, then it's not going to do well. And I'm not really bringing any value to you guys. So if you have suggestions, I absolutely love doing viewer suggested videos. So if there's something you're struggling with or something you want more insight into or more, inf more information about, then, um, head over to the discord. I think what we'll do is just make like a temporary suggestions channel. Um, so you guys can just drop into there and leave your suggestions and I'll go take a look at them this week and um, try to, you know, knock one of those out for next Saturday. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me on your Saturday morning. As always, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on Discord and I will see you guys here same time next week.